Hi, it's time for a messianic moment with yours truly, Stephen Brooke. I'm wearing the t-shirt I bought when I was in Israel. Isn't that funny? Yeah, I like it. So, I want to ask you before we start to please like. If you like what you hear, please hit the little like, thumbs up me, and um, also share it out. Uh, please subscribe to the website. Go to the right side of the web page and hit subscribe or go to the bottom right corner and hit subscribe on the Messianic Moment logo. I do appreciate your your um, being here, your listening or reading, and um, thank you very much. Please don't forget to comment, even if it's just, hey, I like it or something. I really do appreciate the confirmation. Anyway, so today I'm probably going to piss off some people because I'm going to talk something that's a little bit of a pet peeve of mine. I'm going to start off with William Shakespeare, not the most friendly guy to Jews, actually, if you've ever read The Merchant of Venice, but in his most famous play, I think, Romeo and Juliet, he had Juliet saying, What's in a name? That which we call the rose, by any other name would smell as sweet. And when Juliet spoke that, it was basically because she found out Romeo, who she just got really the hots for at this party, was um, a Montague, and she's a Capulet, and they were families at war. And she was saying basically, hey, you know, Romeo's going to be who Romeo is no matter who or what you call him. Okay? And my point is that God is always going to be God. Messiah is always going to be Messiah. And no matter what name we use, that name doesn't change who they are. You know, and already, now, I'm positive, based on my experience reading posts and talking to people, that there are more than a few people reading this who right now are probably venting steam out of their ears because I'm saying it doesn't matter what name we use when we address God or Messiah. And to those people, I want to say that I respect what you believe. I respect your time you've ever performed in studying um, the, 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 the zealousness you have for God and Messiah. And um, I also understand that personally to you, using some name other than what you believe is really the correct name for God and Messiah is, is no less than a blasphemy. Okay, and again, I don't think poorly of you. I, I recognize your love for God and Messiah, and I think it's great. I respect the intensive research you've done. Um, and I understand that it, when you see here someone using a name that you know is not correct and, and it's not what you believe God's name should be or Messiah's name, um, it, it's almost like you feel it's an insult to God. And I can appreciate that to a fact. I, I personally can't stand it when people use um, different transliteration spellings that are just ridiculous. You know, the spellings for Tanakh or Messiah or Mashiach or any number of Jewish words that they try to write in English. I mean, really, some of these things are just so far-fetched they're ridiculous. I mean, please, you know, look it up. <laughs> Use the one that everybody else uses. But that's a different story. So, back to the people who are vehement about this is God's name. I want to ask you something. And I want to do this respectfully, so please, don't be upset, don't be angry, but do you really think that God will reject someone who prays to him with a contrite heart and a broken spirit, as David talked about in the 51st Psalm, just because the name they use is the only name that they've known for God. You know, people are raised with Jesus. People are raised with God. People, if, if, if a Muslim who only knows Aramaic turns from the God of Abraham, Ishmael, and Muhammad to the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and he calls him Allah, that's the only name for God he knows. I mean, if I'm someone who only knows Allah or Baal as the name of God, but I am praying in my mind and my heart to the proper, unique, one and only God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Father, of Yeshua, the Messiah, and, and I am praying to that God, but I'm using a name, is the only name I know. Do you really think God's going to reject that prayer? I mean, you really think God's going to say to himself, hey, that's a nice prayer, and I can see they're truly repentant, but I never liked that name. So, yeah, they can just go to hell. I mean, really? For myself, I cannot see God 
rejecting or refusing to hear the prayer of a repentant sinner who calls out to him using a name that isn't exactly the same name you told Moses. I can't see Messiah refusing to represent a sinner who's called out to him simply because Jesus isn't the Hebrew name that he was called when he walked the earth. Look, here's a thought. When somebody tells somebody else, as I have just seen too often in posts and discussion groups, that the name they're using for God is wrong, and implicitly saying that God's not going to honor your prayers or hear you if you're using the wrong name because you're not calling out to the right God. <sighs> Isn't that really the insult to God? Isn't it insulting to God for a human being to tell someone calling to him for help and repentance that, hey, that's not God's real name. He's not going to pay attention to you. Isn't it the same thing as saying God's too self-absorbed, too egocentric, too picky to accept a prayer to him just because someone uses a name that may not be exactly the correct way to pronounce it? Yeah. I, I want to ask those people who, again, those of you who are absolutely adamant about this has to be the way you pronounce God's name, and pardon me for saying it this way, you're obsessive. I want to ask you, about God's real name to please consider God's merciful attitude, his compassion for us poor stupid humans, and his understanding. You know, I'd like to ask you to please stop telling people, you know, that the name they're using isn't the name you think it should be and therefore it's wrong and it's not gonna get them anywhere. Okay? Oh, I just got joined by shadow. Yeah, I mean, have you ever thought maybe that you're the one that might be in the wrong? I mean, isn't it true you're the one who might be wrong just simply by speaking on God's behalf for him? Saying, oh, you didn't use this word correctly, so God's not going to hear you. I mean, when you accuse others of being wrong and how they approach God, is that really right? I mean, who are you or me or anyone for that matter to tell anyone else that their prayers and devotion are wrong simply because they don't call God the same name we, you call him. I mean, did you ever consider maybe, just maybe, whatever name you think or whatever pronunciation you think, it could be wrong? I mean, it might, right? If so, are you willing to be judged by God the same way you're judging others? I mean, we all know that that's what God says will happen. We will be judged the way we judge. So, please, I'm just asking you, Think about this before you correct someone else. I mean, don't tell them this is God's name. You can say, I believe this is how it's pronounced, or I don't believe that's the correct pronunciation. This is how I have learned, and this is why I've studied. But please don't tell anybody else that they shouldn't use it, or they can't use it, or it's wrong. Yeah? Personally, and I think you got to agree with me, really. God and, and Messiah, I mean, they're both big enough to handle somebody mispronouncing their name, right? I mean, really, they're not that easily offended. Um, I think there are things people do that are much more offensive to God and Messiah than just mispronouncing their name in earnest and heartfelt prayer. Yeah, and if it doesn't bother them, then it shouldn't bother us. So please, those of you, I'm just asking, there are so many more important matters that can help someone get to know God better than worrying about how to pronounce his name. Because I don't really believe God cares that much as long as we pray to him. This is a rose would smell just as sweet. Romeo is still Romeo. God's still God. Whether you call him God, Adonai, Yeshua, well, Yeshua is Messiah, um, you know, Jehovah, Yahweh, he's still God. And we are to pray to God. Left said. So, thank you again for listening. Um, I hope this helps edify people. I hope those of you who I'm addressing specifically, please don't be upset with me. I'm just asking you to chill out a little bit. I'm not asking you to change your ideas, change your minds. I'm not asking you to condone someone, you know, dishonoring God, but just think about really what's important to God and not what's important to you. All right, so thanks again. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe, to like, to share. 
Go on my website, MessianicMoment.com, if you're looking at this on the YouTube. And um, please don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate your time, and thank you very much. Baruch Hashem. Thank you.